quarter to six. Surprise trip, he said. <laughs> Let's go. You're not allowed to look okay. the, close the eyes and give me your hand. So you're not allowed to look at the platform we are on. Good for you because in the train there are no signs. Now fall asleep so you don't hear anything, okay? okay. We are somewhere in Italy. I think now you will know. Are we in Venice? Venice, baby. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Really great idea. So we just came from the train station, and this is the welcome view. So pretty. It is like in a movie, right? Welcome to our movie. <laughs> It's scary how quiet everything is. I think there is a dead end. It's actually the best way how to explore the city. Yes. You just get lost. Espresso clock it is. For one euro, that's what I like. Just went to this cafe and then it's got some good stuff for us. Have a nice breakfast now, then we're ready for the day. Yeah, get some power on. So the breakfast place, it's called Farini. 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 It's a real recommendation. Oh, the sun came out. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Let's just stay here real quick and put our... Do you want to go with the pigeon? <laughs> I was never really a fan like, of pigeon. Like, people would put like, some food on their hand and feed the pigeon. Like, why would you do that? But if you would be Mike Tyson? If I would be Mike Tyson, I would be a very big fan. So they go in the air. There's some birds that come from Serbia, um, Yugoslavia with their diving pigeons. No kiss. Imagine like a pigeon takes a shit like behind you. Oh yeah, he loves the pigeons too, does he? We are in Piazza San Marco. We're gonna come later here because there's supposed to be like one big vocal concert. And we find some spots where it's not too busy. How do you like it? I love it. No, it's just like easy Saturday mood. Easy day, easy Saturday morning. Okay, let's have it. <laughs> they just forgot his sea salt spray, so he just. It's like the worst haircut ever. So put it in <laughs> my hair. his face he's like mm. okay so that's how you make a photo in venice if you don't have a tripod you just it worked <laughs> we're now at the street garibaldi we just went to a cafe we didn't check before on google maps and we immediately regret that when we got the bill Tip number one, Just always check the prices, uh, always check the reviews. Awkward. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> what are you eating? Snack time. I think I want to have one piadina before dinner. So I first some vitamins and then Italian soul food again. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, so we found a spot. So we're gonna take away. So check in, we got some focaccia going yep. on. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Bad, huh? Nice room. So the focaccia in a hotel. It's a glorious way. It's like a snack. Yeah. Cheers. We didn't go to the sauna, so we just took a nap, basically. <laughs> it's not included in the hotel room, and you pay 20 euros per hour. Yeah, so we decided to not go into the sauna, which is sad, but you know. <laughs> I think we had a little bit of luck now. Yeah, because we thought we were too late, but they still played. <laughs> now we go to the dinner place. We got a place. No tourists, only locals. <laughs> Just to explain, half a liter of white wine is how much? Seven euros. <laughs> this place is cool. Spaghetti alla buzzara and, and spaghetti with squidding. Jesus! Just switch the plate so we can try both. everything. Let's try. Holy Jesus! Ciao, grazie. Buona serata. It's good. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm really happy that we found such a local place. And it's like a little bit of like 10 minutes walk out of the center. I have to be honest, I would never ever live here. Yeah. Just too many tourists. Yeah. It's beautiful for a day or two. All right, so we have like 10 minutes to walk back to the hotel. And tomorrow we wake up early, so good night from Venice. See you tomorrow.
Good morning. We had a breakfast we checked out at the hotel. We left our bags there. And today we have a special appointment because we're gonna go with the gondola. That was yeah. a gift from my sister. Yeah. Let's check the gondola. Yeah. came to the gondola spot and the weather is pretty on point I would say. We thought it's like a two men gondola but it's actually for many people. How do we get into this situation? Is, I thought it's gonna be a romantic drive with the gondola for two people and that's like a shared gondola with I don't know how many people. So now we got this uh, stickers that uh, people see that we belong to the group. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. All in or nothing. <laughs> Just in case that they don't see us, you know? Just in case. Here we go. Okay. Okay. shop we go in there people say it's cool it's like the oldest library shop ever it's so okay so apparently they're re like real cats around I can't believe it to a twist I don't I, I'm not a cat person at all no me neither <laughs> she doesn't give a shit does she so freaking cold I went to the men's section at H&M to get some cashmere socks it is really cold I'm also pretty oh fuck oh, oh shit you okay so we got a good spot in the sun but the truth is behind us pretty busy we're not gonna leave this place are we it's like 10 degrees of difference between shadow and sun yeah. and I'm not moving back to the shadow ever again, like ever Okay, wow This is massive Yes Let's do this This is so random In the middle of the street there's like a cinema kind of thing I kind of like it <laughs> We're now walking to the hotel to get our backpack and it's like a little romantic posh. 